Well, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the AgriChat on a lovely late August evening in South Northumberland. This is an update on the brassica crop that's put in for the sheep. Um, this is a, a mixture of stubble turnips, some kale and some oil radish. So this has been in the ground for six weeks now. It's direct drilled, so no cultivations, no nothing. And I think you can see yourself that it's just, it's looking pretty, pretty fantastic. It had, I think it was 15 tons the hectare of well rotted farmyard manure on after planting. And it's since had its fertilizer. I'm not quite sure what fertilizer it's had, but let's just give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like there's the, the turnips are just starting to develop there and for six weeks in the ground I would say that's not too bad at all the direct drilling um, we'll see what to see what they come out like but the sheep will be going into these around about sometime in December but it looks pretty fantastic doesn't it um, it really does look good these have come away well they were lucky to go into a really warm soil and it rained very shortly afterwards so a warm wet soil just perfect grown conditions so that's the brassicas they do look fantastic so that's very very promising but we've got something else going on tonight and you'll see spot in the distance if you can see it i'm trying to see if i can see it yes i can he's hiding just behind that bush there and John is on cutting the first of the linseed. So we're going to pop up and have a look at that. So here we are in the linseed. John's been a, a time around. Let's have a quick look at the straw to what's left. I've never ever seen linseed, linseed being combined before. So this is what's left. It's incredibly brittle. And then he uh, there's a few seed pods there, but all the seeds are do seem to be out of them. You'd think that was being missed by the combine, but no, there is seeds in there. But there's not many. So yeah, that's that's what's left the straw, and I think that's being baled. Probably be used for bedding. We'll have a look at them coming up. Yes, yeah, so it's an it's an interesting crop. It's it's another break crop, and it allows hopefully. For the arable acreage to be run wheat break crop wheat break crop so that um, grow nothing but first wheat try and keep the yields up and that's it's supposed to be a bit of a pig to combine the linseed you're supposed to do it on a a lovely dry sunny day which is what we've got here But it's supposed to be a bit of a pig for wrapping around anything that it grabs a hold of. But that feels incredibly brittle. So I can't really see that he's going to have too much of a problem there. So there you have it, 
we'll see how he gets on tonight. That was just a little bit of an update of what's happening on the farm. Catch you next time. We'll catch you next time.